What do we do? This is Collect Pokemon. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually recorded a video. There has been a lot of things happening in my life, um, especially with work and everything else. But, um, you know, I will slowly be coming back, making more and more video as we lead up to the opening of the Star Universe. I've still been following the Pokemon market quite um, tightly, especially with the downfall of Magic the Gathering. Uh, One Piece cards. I've been looking through that and it's been quite interesting. So don't worry. I have not left the community. I am still here. It's just that I, you know, just consider me that I've took like a six month, no, six month, six weeks off. Um, yeah, but um, today I want to bring you guys a very, very special type of opening. Um, and this just came in from the Pokemon Center, actually. Uh, and I've just opened it um, just to make sure that the products are good enough. Um, this was pretty much shipped out uh, the way it is from the Pokemon Center. And we're going to take a look at what it is. We're going to open it and we're going to see what type of goodies do we have. Uh, obviously, you guys would have guessed it. This is going to be the Precious Box Edition. So this is actually not packaged or repackaged. This is packaged from the Pokemon Center. So if you guys are ever getting this and you're wondering, hey, you know, it's my box repackage this is something that you should see um i've ordered uh from different places and uh, i think this is slowly coming in uh some of them i ordered it for quite a cheap price but for example this one that came in a much much quicker uh was closer to around i think what's what three four hundred dollars something quite expensive is it 400 let me just let me just grab my calculator this is sorry for the shake this is a rang um three hundred dollars so let's take a look at it so they're wrapped by these really uh big bubble heavy bubble wrap can i actually pop it no it's not that not, not the type i can pop um and then uh it's wrapped pretty much all the way around and let's take this out okay so there's pretty much nothing in the box just the bubble wrap and that's it and as for, let me drop that box down for simple box. They're packaged quite tightly with the wrap. Similar to the black box collection we saw with the Master Battle set, there's a sticker on it um, that tells you what that sticker is. Now, this kind of wrapper seems that it could be sealed or resealed easily. So you have to do and you know watch out for it. Uh, make sure that the sticker is on. And the sticker is actually not on the tab. So if you pull the tab, I don't think it'll pull off the sticker as well. So we're going to see what happens. Now, just for the record, I'm going to zoom in a little. And we can see that, you know, there's no ripping. I think it's, yeah, when you, after you ripped it, I think you can actually see that it's been resealed. I think that's how you can tell. So, so far, this is new. Okay, wow, okay. So just slide it like this. And I think we can slide the whole box out like that. Okay. Wow. It's been a while since I did actually an unboxing. I didn't actually even open the, the, the bigger black box. Um, the box is, it does feel cheaper than the other box. It is cardboard printed on with a little bit of a background and a gold color opened up on the side like that first thing you see is definitely going to be our pikachu card now uh, we can see that it is still in the wrapper i would assume that it is attached to yep so i would recommend you lift this whole thing up before taking the cards out the card itself is looking very nice I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's actually textured. The card is actually very, very well textured. Um, it seems to be a corner issue here. The cutting doesn't seem too sharp. I'm just looking at this. Is that is that normal? Is that damaged? So. It would be really sad if it was damaged. 
Now looking at this, it might get a PSA 10, might, but it's just not very clean on the cutting, especially that the texture seems to go on to the corner as well. We're going to take a look, closer look at the card in just a bit. I'm just going to drop that down. Now within this box, we have this, I think this, this looks like a deck box to me. Um, this looks like a really big deck box to me. Um, I'm not sure if I want to open that. And then we also, whoa, this is really heavy. What, what, what is this? How do I open this? All right. Hmm. Oops. Over knocking the camera. I like to slide this out. Wait, how do I open this? Oh, okay. I think I know. So I think I, I think that this black paper could actually be slide out. Yeah. It's really tough. Yeah. Because they had glue. Oops, not sure you guys can. They have glue here. That's why it makes it very difficult. Now we open this. Okay. Oh. It's wow. Seriously? They made all this just to make a acrylic display for the card seriously wow that is and guys this thing is heavy this acrylic is not like your thin acrylic these are really heavy duty acrylic and it does look like it comes in three pieces so three piece acrylic and just in case that you guys mess your card up, they actually gave you this so that you can put your card in. Wow, this, this is heavy duty, man. I'm quite surprised that they actually did not put the card in here right away. Yeah, but th this is really heavy duty. I mean, look at this, guys. Ridiculous. That's why it was so difficult to open. So... I guess that's what uh, the precious means. Right, let's keep going. Cardboard, nothing there. So then, more cardboard. Drop that down. Last but not least, we have our precious collection binder. And uh, let's take a look at what type of binder this is. Is that, is that all? Yeah, that's all. Let's open up the binder. So... So we can see that there's tape on this side. Ugh. And we can see that there's tape on this side. And the binder just slides up. The texture of the binder, it's actually really good. Let me just zoom out a little. The binder, it's actually... The texture is actually really nice. And we can all see that even with the gold color, the texture is stamped it behind it. Now, looking at it, let's see what kind of binder right it looks like a nine page binder and each page it's actually covered by another sleeve so that you won't damage it wow seriously yeah so basically that's the sleeve it's pretty cool double-sided um the seam seems to be very Nicely handled. That's the side. And then when I pull this out, that's the other side. I mean, this piece of paper at the back. Very nice felt kind of texture. That's the paper on this side too. Very nice feeling to it. You can almost hear it. So let's see how many pages there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There's twenty page in this binder. Um, it's really, it's really sturdy. Doesn't look like it sags, 
So that's good. So 20, uh, 20 page times 18 on each page. So you can actually put 360 cards in here. So uh, it's very, uh, it's a very decent binder, really. It's just, this feels really good, especially, you know, with Marnie, the Mew. It's, it's, it's all the, uh, it's all the special cards that has been going on these past year or so. So definitely very, very cool looking. Up oh, and uh, yeah, this kind of tells you how to assemble the, the um, what do you call it, the um, acrylic case. So it's pretty cool. I'm really thinking if I should just put this card in instead of grading it. Okay, now uh, you guys are all waiting for the card part. So I am going to zoom back in. I'm going to get a scissor and I'm going to open it. And we're going to take a much closer look at the card. Uh, getting my sleeves. Getting my other sleeves. Getting my post-it so that I can slide in the grading part. All right. So I think I'm all good. Now let's let's take a little snip of the card. All right. So card is snipped. Get a sleeve. Now before I sleeve it, for the sake of you guys, I'm just gonna anticipate and look at this card. Now this is very very fancy looking card. You guys can see the texture along the card. The texture is much more detailed than last year's, um, not last year actually, um, it was the last year, the black box. So if I zoom in more, you guys can almost see the texture. And the texture actually extends to the side as well. Beautiful looking card. Yep, this is pretty much caught in HD, caught in 4K. We have the Sorak, very beautiful looking card. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys the texture. Look, there's multiple texture on this card. So it's so beautiful. All right, so we will zoom back out. I'm gonna sleeve that. Uh, initially, I thought that there were some issues with the corner, but apparently it does look like that it was the sleeve on the outside. I mean, I could argue that the corner is the edge are not that smooth, but um, hey, that's, that's that. Most likely this will not go into a BGS, and most likely be sent to a PSA uh, or kept sealed for a long, long time. Now we're gonna put them back and uh, most likely we'll grade these soon. So overall, a very, I think it's a, it's a very nice addition to the card um, or this era is to really celebrate it. The, uh, all the pretty much Summer Santa, Sassian, the Calyrax, Ursifu, beautiful, beautiful. So that's pretty much it for this video. We are definitely going to start making more and more video. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Catch you guys later. This is Collect Pokemon. Peace.